I'm Connor and I studied Geography at the University of Edinburgh and I graduated in 2014. Uh, I'm Head of Learning and Engagement at Dynamica Science Centre and Planetarium in Edinburgh, which is the UK Science Centre dedicated to the story of our planet. In my job, I lead the Science Learning and Engagement Service, which is a team of science communication and sector professionals who develop and deliver all of the amazing experiences that we do as a charity to help empower everyone with understanding and empathy for the Earth. So that's our portfolio of school programmes, our teacher training, everything we do for families, for early years audiences, for all of our underserved and underrepresented community groups, and also adults and young people. It also involves leading on all of our partnership work with universities, higher and further education institutions, like-minded charities, um, so we can all work together in collaboration to deliver the charitable mission of our organisation. The most exciting thing about my job is the epic variety of people that I get to work with. So I have an amazing creative team of science communication professionals who do lots of really amazing development and delivery of science content, but I also get to work with lots of sector-leading academics, uh, and people who've done really cool things in their, in their jobs. So I've worked with deep sea scientists, I've worked with astronauts, and I've worked with tropical rainforest explorers. It's really just a diverse mix of people and that makes it really exciting every day. The most difficult thing about my job is probably that classic working within charity budgets because there's no shortage of ambition and aspiration, it's just having the resource to make it all happen. So my advice to anyone that wants to get into the informal learning sector or science engagement is to really take advantage of every opportunity you can get to gain experience in the sector from as early a point in your career as possible because that builds up your CV, it builds up that bank of experience and that's really what employers will look for. So my best memories from studying Geography at Edinburgh were the field work that we got to do, particularly in third year when we went to Amsterdam, that felt like a really kind of defining moment of my career in Geography at Edinburgh. Um, but the other one was actually the day where I got my degree result and that kind of sense of achievement that I had I think has been unparalleled to any other sense of achievement that I've had. So yeah, results day. So my dissertation was about children's understanding of representation, so interpretation, in museums and science centres. So I developed a methodology, a child-centred methodology, where we did things like strapped GoPros to children's heads and uh, gave them lots of cameras to go around and photograph things they wanted to in museum galleries. Uh, we did informal interviews and listened to their conversations with their parents and we really tried to tap into uh, messaging on earth and environmental science topics and I tried to understand what kind of interpretation styles were most effectively conveying messages to children and young people and that dissertation ultimately went on to like the career I went into. My advice to anyone that's studying geography at the moment would just be to maximise the opportunities that your institute can give you because there are a lot. Um, so take advantage of Jogstock, take advantage of all the other societies out there, you're a award winning society. Um, and maybe also just to be mindful that there will always be challenges at university and university is designed to challenge you. Um, so you're going to have a bunch of high moments and a bunch of low moments, but try and let those highs carry you through the low moments because there will be more good times than bad.